evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about superconductors. Now superconductors are a very new realm of physics that is exciting and is on the verge of doing some fantastic things working in space uh, and in quantum computing. Now a superconductor is a material, a metal, it's a conductor that exhibits a very strange property at very cold temperatures. Now We've spoken before about a filament lamp, so if I can grab a filament lamp on now, that a filament lamp, as the filament lamp gets like hotter, the particles start to move around more and the charged particles, the electrons that are flowing through them, are more likely to hit them and the resistance goes up. But when it gets really cold, atoms start moving less and less and less and less. And superconductors, so this is temperature, and I'm going to put this in Kelvin. Superconductors, when they reach a certain temperature, the resistance drops to zero. And we're going to call this the critical temperature. Here. So a superconductor is a material... that when the critical temperature is reached, it has zero resistance. And this is really useful, especially in looking at computing. If you can get something with zero resistance, that means current flows freely around. Okay, which means you're not going to get any energy that's lost in the wires. And in space, where it's only about 3 Kelvin, very cold, this is an opportunity for us to have electronics that have zero resistance. We've got no energy wastage. The energy supplied by the circuit is actually going to the components it needs to, not the wires or any other materials that are there. And so this graph here, when it hits a certain temperature, and we're talking very low temperatures, 3 Kelvin, etc. We're talking very low temperatures. The resistance goes to zero. And this is really useful for the forefront of science. And that is superconductors.